Are you frustrated with Cricut Snap Mat? Well, it's a great feature. It's definitely not user friendly. So let me show you my workaround and how I do it. I'm gonna create my design. I'm just gonna add a couple of hearts to the mat in a few different colors and a few different sizes so that I can test this out with some scrap pieces onto my mat. So I'm gonna just duplicate them, change all the colors, and then click make it so you can see how they're gonna arrange on my mat. Because they're all individual layers, they're gonna go and spread out onto each color. Now I wanna do this all in one shot, so I'm gonna convert it all to the same color. Then I'm gonna take a picture of my mat, upload it as a flat graphic, and then add a 12 by 12 square. With this 12 by 12 square, I'm gonna then stretch the mat so that it fits the size of the square right inside the grid. That's gonna let me know that my mat is now basically life size. Now that my square is set, I'm gonna move it to the back so that I can see my mat. And then I'm just gonna arrange all of my hearts on the appropriate color or size that you want it based on your scrap design. Once I've set it all up, I'm going to then hide my mat image, duplicate my 12 inch square, resize it to 11.5, hide my 12 inch square, and then attach all of my designs to that 11.5 square. Now that 11.5 square allows it so that it keeps its position on the mat since that's the max size that it'll cut. So then you just follow your on-screen make it instructions as you go and then you'll see it'll cut out each item. Now I did hit more pressure because I did have a glitter cardstock here and it didn't go all the way through, but it was just a sample to show you guys how to use this. So I hope this is helpful. If it is, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.